Uh, I have a bill here that's uh, the Aquifer Recharge Flexibility Act, and for my friends, uh, uh, n none of them seem to be here, but my friends from the East Coast uh, don't really understand this. They don't understand how important water is to us, and uh, they don't understand that uh, uh, how what what a minimal amount of water we get in eastern Idaho. We get uh, about 11 inches total snow and water, and uh, not much uh, better upstream where Mr. Hipke is from. But in any event, um, the uh, the. We, we do a lot of different things to use our water to, to be able to do what we do in Idaho, and that is to have a, a state that even though we're owned two-thirds by the federal government, uh, we're able to do a lot of things uh, with uh, raising crops and uh, those kinds of things. But water is absolutely critical. And one of the things that, uh, that uh, is relatively recent, and I use the word relatively, is uh, recharge. Uh, it, it is incredibly important to us, uh, particularly in eastern Idaho, where we have the uh, Idaho's eastern snake plain aquifer, which is about the size of Lake Erie. Is that right, Mr. Hipke? Lake Erie is a pretty sizable body of water. And uh, so you think, well, gosh, if you got that much water, this shouldn't be a problem. Well, it is a problem because it is in the aquifer, and uh, we uh, have become very efficient at uh, drilling wells and taking water out of it in order to irrigate and do other things. So it's important that we monitor that aquifer and that uh, we recharge it uh, where possible. And that's what this uh, bill is designed to do. Mr. Mr. Hipke's in charge of the programs that, uh, that do the uh, recharge and uh, he's done an excellent job of it. But because as I said, two thirds of the land is owned by the federal government, and they get kind of cranky when you do things that you think need to be done, but they don't, particularly if they live back east, which a lot of them do. Uh, it's important that we have laws that, uh, that allow us to do this and allow us to do it more smoothly. Um, the, this bill will, uh, uh, will allow uh, and make it more uh, smooth to cross BLM land uh, when a canal already holds an easement, recharge, uh, will take place on reclamation land and re reclamation facilities convey non-project water for recharge. These are all things that are really important to us and I think Mr. Hipke will be able to tell us how important these things actually are uh, for recharging uh, this uh, this aquifer. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. Hipke with your, with your permission, uh, Madam Chairman, and he can explain to us, uh, uh, if you would, how uh, this bill will provide greater flexibility in the use of our beloved federal lands to uh, get water to our aquifer. So, Mr. Epke, the floor is yours. 